Well, good evening, everyone. We praise God for another beautiful Tuesday night. Amen. For this is again the day, that another day in which the Lord has made. We're rejoicing and we're glad in it. We're excited for another night, Tuesday night of interactive Bible study. And we're glad to have all of you with us, those of you that are watching us online as well. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. And we're going to amen, get into the word of God just very shortly. But before we go any further, we're going to go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. And we're going to ask on tonight if our, uh, uh, let's see, we're going to ask uh, Sister Ray, uh, if you'll lead us in prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your people who gathered here to learn more of your word. Lord, we, we want, we're asking that you pray for the bereaved families all over the world. We just pray for the world in a whole and just let everyone open up their ears to hear and learn what the, the Lord is trying to tell us. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. All right, we're going to get ready to jump right into our Bible study. Um, please, someone, one moment, someone's trying to come in to the room. Um, I got him. Okay. All right. All right. She's trying to, I believe, Shanita. One moment. Okay, sure. All right. We're going to get started, everyone. We're going to jump right in. Uh, I'm going to do a screen share. One moment. Uh, for our presentation on tonight. Mm -hmm. One moment. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Still not coming in? Yes. She's joining. Yes, yeah, she's like stuck there. Uh, well, wait a minute. I think she's on. Yes, yeah, she's in. She in now. Okay. All right. Fantastic. All right, I know we got some more people to the translate. God bless you, Brother Frankie. Good to see you tonight. And it's good to see you, bro. Every day above ground. <laughs> it's a good day. Yeah, every day. I was just saying with people uh, here tonight. That's what you say. That's and, right. <laughs> you know, somebody told me the other day, it's good to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> and I thank the Lord. <laughs> Amen. I, I'm with you right there. All right, everyone, I'm going to do a screen share. One moment. Uh, uh oh, what happened? Okay. All right. All right, this is going to be our Bible study and discussion on tonight. We're going to be dealing, <clears throat> everyone, with uh, how to ask. Please feel free to take notes if you like on uh, tonight. And for those of you that may have questions at the end, please, we're gonna, at the end, of the presentation, we're actually going to have a uh, open discussion in regards to the word of God on tonight. All right. Again, that's going to be our Bible study for tonight. How to ask. All right. We're going to be dealing with uh, our theme scripture is going to be Matthew chapter seven, verses seven and eight. All right, uh, let's begin. It says what? Matthew chapter seven, verses seven, three. It says what? Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. All right. Now, it's, I find that it's uh, remarkable that the God in which they created the universe with words so high and mighty would not only speak to creatures he made in his own image, us, but he would invite us to speak to him as well, especially so in that, what does he do? He invites us to ask requests specifically of him. Uh huh. Now, ask, we, we, when we go before the Lord, we need to ask as a qualified petitioner. I want to deal with that. All right, First Peter chapter 3, verse number 12 says what? For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Mm -hmm. Some people uh, God is happy to hear from, but I believe also to others he deliberately ignores. All right. Uh, got somebody coming in the room. I got that, Pastor Shaw. Overseer. All right. Some people he deliberately annoys. Mm hmm. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. He who turns away from his ear listening to the law 
Even his prayer is an abomination. I need to read that again. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. He who turns away his ear from listening to the law. What's the law? What the scripture was talking about when it talks about the law? The laws of the Lord. God's uh, commandments. God's statutes. All right? God's, what God has instructed for us to uh, live and abide by. It's, the scripture said, what even his prayers is an abomination. My God. Proverbs 15, verses 8 and 9 says, what the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayers of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked, again, listen, is an abomination to the Lord. But he does what? He loves him who pursues righteousness. Glory to God. Listen, those who don't want to listen to God, guess what? God ain't listening to you either. And that's a terrible state to be in. I don't want to be in that state, but I want the God that the God that I served to hear me and answer my prayers. And whenever I ask of him, he, he said he, he'll give it to us. Amen. But we got to be in the right uh, position. As, as we said at the, at the top of our screen here, ask as a qualified petitioner. All right. In fact, these prayers, those of which the, uh, the, the, the don't want to listen to God, these prayers are an abomination to him. That's what the scriptures tell us. All right. John chapter nine, verse 31 says, for what we know that God does not hear the sinners. Mm. But if, if anyone is God fearing and does his will, guess what? He hears them. Amen. There are qualifications, everyone. Simple ones, which must be met in order to be heard in prayer. Uh-huh. Isaiah 59, verses 1 and 2 says what? Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot save, neither is his ear so dull that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, so he that he does not hear. See, it is not that God is unable to hear your prayers at all. It's that God won't hear your prayers. That's why we want to be in the right position. We want to make sure that we, we have a right standing with God so that the God that we say that we serve hears and answers our prayers. The separation between God and the sinner is, listen to this here, it's a choice of the sinner to which the Almighty merely responds in like fashion. Mm -hmm. Now, 1 John chapter 3, verse 22 talks about says what? And whatsoever we ask, we receive up from him. Because what? Because we keep his commandment mm -hmm. and do the things that are pleasing in his sight. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Prayer, listen, prayer is not a universal right, but a privilege. There you go. You win. Would you just join in? Let's please put your uh, what do I do now? It says what about audio, right? This meeting is being recorded. All right, we got it. Okay. Fantastic. I got it. All right, fantastic. Prayer is not a universal right, but a privilege of the obedient. All right. Uh, of the obedient. Chapter 10, verse 4 says what? And fixing his gaze upon him and being much alarmed, he said, what? What is it, Lord? And he said to him, your prayers and the arms have ascended as a memorial before God. Listen, true, the prayers of Cornelius were heard by God before he was saved in Christ. But prior to that, he was as faithful to God as any Gentile could be when the Jews were the chosen nation. All right. At most, this example suggests what to us, everyone? That unsaved persons who are sincerely seeking God, guess what, will be heard in that request. That's you being in position as a qualified petitioner, a qualified person of which they can go before the Lord. Amen. You don't, may not even know him in the fullness, but because of the fact that you got a sincere heart, a, con a contrite spirit, amen, God will not only hear you, but he will answer your prayers and your requests. Glory to God. Ask according to his will. How else should we ask the Lord of any of uh, what we need of uh, desire uh, of, of him? We need to ask according to his will. Uh -huh. Let's go to the word of God. First John chapter five, verse 14 and 15 says it says what? And, and this is the confidence which we have before him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. 
And if we know that he hears us, and wherever we ask, we know that we have the request which we have asked for him. Glory to God, hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. So according to his will, God will hear what we ask only if we ask according with his will. That's my prayer. That should be your prayer. Amen. When we, when we pray and we ask of him, we want to be in his will, in his way. Glory to God. Amen. Matthew chapter 26, verse 39 tells us what? And he went a little behind them and fell on his face and prayed, saying, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not as I will, but as thou will. Glory to God. Even the son of God, Jesus, the man, he qualifies his request with your will be done. Amen. Amen. Ask according to his will. Continuing in James chapter four and verse number three, it says you ask and do not receive. Why? Because you ask with the wrong motives so that you may spend it on your pleasures. My God. Listen, we got asking and prayer to win at uh, whether it be a, a gambling jackpot or for a sinful sexual relation to be should be spared from breakup or any other wicked request. Guess what? It will surely be disregarded by God. We got to ask right, and it's got to be according to his will. Not our will, not our way, but God, your will. Let thy will be done. Luke chapter 6, verse 46 says, and why do you call me Lord? Lord, and do not what I say. It is wildly inconsistent to call Jesus Lord, but guess what? But to disobey him, my God, amen. Ask, and we got, and we ask, this is important, y'all. We got to ask in the name of Jesus. Ask in the name of Jesus. What does the scriptures tell us? John 14, verses 13 through 14 says what? And whatever you ask, whatsoever you ask in my name, that will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. The 15th chapter and 16th verse says what? You did not choose me, but I chose you and I appointed you that you should go forth and bring bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatever you ask in the, of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. What is that name? That name is us. Glory to God. John you the link, Bible chapter 16, verses 23 through 24 says what? Study, you will ask me no questions. Truly, truly I say that if you ask him the Father for anything, he will give you my name. Glory to God. Until now you have asked for nothing in my name. Ask and what? You will receive that what? That your joy may be made full. Jesus did what? He taught the disciples to pray to the Father through him. Glory to God. Ask in the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20 says what? Always give thanks for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of God. To God, even the Father. Amen. Colossians chapter 3 verse 17. And whatever you do in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give it thanks through him to the God of the Father. The apostles taught the same thing. Romans chapter one and verse eight says, first I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all. Why? Because your faith is being proclaimed throughout the whole world. Romans chapter seven, verse 25. Thanks be to, to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Paul practiced what he preached and we gotta do the same thing, family and friends, saints of God, amen. If we say that we have fellowship, amen, with, the, with God, amen, and that we're doing and living in any kind of way that's not according to the word of God, we are a liar and the truth is not in us, amen, but we want to be in the will of, of the Father, and we, when we ask and go and petition and go before the Lord for whatever we're standing in need of, amen, we want to do it in the name of Jesus, glory to God, hallelujah, amen, First Timothy chapter 2, 
Verse number five says, for there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Good God Almighty. Hebrews chapter seven, verse 25. Hence also, he's able to save forever those who draw near to God through him, since he has always lived to make intercession for them. Because listen, because of the fact that Christ is our mediator and he's our intercessor, it, is, it fits that prayers to the Father goes through him. Glory to God. Ask in faith, James chapter 1, verses 1 through 6. But let, let him, amen, ask in faith without any doctrine. He, the scriptures are talking to us on tonight. Amen. But let him, that means you, everyone, ask in faith without doubting. For the one who doubts is like the surf of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind, for let not that man expect that he will receive anything from the Lord, being a double-minded man and unstable in all his ways. We don't want to be like that, but we want to ask and believe of God, amen, and, and just wait on the Lord, amen, to not only hear but answer our prayer. Glory to God. See, listen, it is futile to make a request to God and doubt it all the while, while whether or not he can perform in fact what he, we ask of him. Amen. God, I'm reminded of the scripture that God said he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that anything we could even ask or even think. Glory to God. God is able. Glory to God. Matthew 21 verses 21 through 22. The scripture says, and Jesus answered and said to them, Truly I say unto you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you shall not only do what was done to the fig tree, but even if you say to the mountain, be taken up and cast into the sea, and it shall happen. And all things you ask in prayer, believing you shall I feel like preaching on tonight. Glory to God, hallelujah. Praying and faith can do what? Move mountains, glory to God. There's nothing, amen, nothing, amen, can stand in our way. Glory to God, and I'm a believer of God's word. When God, all things are possible. Glory to God. Of course, guess what we must do, family and friends? We must trust and it will serve God's purpose to do so. Amen. And that's why we ask and when we ask of him, amen, for whatever. Glory to God. We ask in faith, believing God will keep it, do it, do it. He said he'll do. Ask in faith. James chapter 5 and verse 16 through 18 says, What the effect the fervent prayers of a righteous man can accomplish, or King James Version says, it can avail of much. Elijah was a man with a natural, like a, a, a nature like ours. And what did he do? He prayed earnestly that there may not rain. And it did not rain on the earth for three years and six months. And he prayed again. And what happened? The skies poured rain and the earth produced fruit. Glory to God. Listen, although Elijah was a mighty prophet, he's described as having a, a nature like ours, meaning that the drought was the result, not of a miracle, but the drought was but of a prayer. Glory to God. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 8, it says what? Therefore, I want the men of in every place to pray, lifting up holy hands without wrath and dissension. Petitions to God must be free of doubt, family, friends. Amen. And we got the, amen, and you ain't got to holler it out right now, but you can say it in your heart. I got to trust him. I got to trust him. No matter what it may seem like, no matter what, how adverse it may look like, no matter what may be even transpiring in my life, through it all, I'm still yet going to trust you, God. Amen. And ask him in faith, believing that God will bring you through this. Amen. Glory to God. I'm reminded of scripture that the Lord lets us know that he will not put no more on you than you can bear. Glory to God. Amen. God is able. He wants us to trust him. And when we also ask him, amen, we're talking about how to ask on tonight. You've got to be specific when you ask God. Ask specifically. Luke chapter 11 verses 11 through 12. Now suppose uh, one of your fathers is asking by his son for a fish. He will not give him a snake instead of a fish, will he? Or if he is, is asked for an egg, he ain't going to give him a scorpion, will he? Notice it here. In Jesus, the metaphor that the son never told the father he was hungry. Rather, what happened? He specifically asked for bread, then fish, then an egg. Likewise, guess what? Our prayers ought to avoid generalities. We need to be specific. 
Glory to God. Ask specifically if the names of those of us uh, who are sick in their ailments are announced, guess what? Then that's who we should pray for. And that's the reason why we pray. Glory to God. If the names of those traveling are announced, are announced along with where they're going and for how long, then that's who we pray for. And that's the reason as to why we pray. James chapter 5, verse 17. Listen here. Amen. Elijah was specific in his very effective prayer. James chapter 5, verse 14 says, any sick among you, amen, let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Our prayers for the sick ought to be detailed. Glory to God. Amen. Acts chapter 8, verse 22. Therefore, repent of this wickedness of yours and pray to the Lord if it is possible the intentions of your heart may be forgiven you. Our prayers for the wayward are to be detailed. Amen. Romans 8, 26 through 28. And in the same manner and a way, the Spirit also helped our weakness. For we did not know how to pray as we should. But what did the Spirit do? The Spirit himself interceded for us with the groanness too deep for words. And he searches the hearts who know what the minds of the Spirit is because he intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. We know that God causes all things to work together for the good for them who love him and for those who are called according to his purpose. I believe God on today. Hallelujah. And listen here. Truly, the Holy Spirit helps us when we have trouble figuring out as to what to say. That doesn't mean, listen here, that we keep it generic and let the Spirit do the rest. It means that we got to do what? We got to let the Spirit help. We got to keep praying until we figure out how best to put it and go into God. And not only do we ask specifically, God wants us to ask gratefully. Philippians 4, 6 through 7, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, not some few, many, but the scripture says what? In everything, by what? Prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And what will happen? The peace of God, which a passive all our comprehension, all our understanding, shall keep your heart, guard your heart, and your mind in Christ Jesus. All requests should be coached and couched in terms of this gratitude. If we're not thankful what God has already blessed us with, why should we ask for more and why would he comply with those petitions? Glory to God. I believe even before we started the Bible study, I, I we were talking with, uh, I believe, Shanita and Robin. I was saying these exact same things. Amen. And we got to give God faith. He said we'd be faithful even for over a few things. He'll make us rule over many. We got to thank God for everything. I thank you, Lord, for the good times. I thank you for the bad times. I thank you for my going through. I thank you, God, for how you made ways out of no ways. I thank you for opening doors that seemed like they were closed. I thank you for providing for me, for my family, glory to God. I thank you for letting me be, be in the land of the living, glory to God. We got to be thankful, glory to God, over everything, everything. We got to give God thanks, for this is the will of Christ Jesus concerning us, glory to God. First Thessalonians 5, 17 and 18 says, well, we got to pray without ceasing in everything, Give thanks. I just said it. For this is God's will. Amen. For you in Christ Jesus. Good God from Zion. Give thanks in everything. Means doing so even when things seem lousy. Glory to God. We may not recognize even the hidden blessings. Glory to God. Acts 16, 25. But at about midnight, what happened? Paul and Silas was, in, was praying and singing uh, they was in jail at this time. They were singing hymns and praises to God. And the prisoners was listening to them. Imprisonment, amen, harshly for proclaiming God's gospel. Amen, Paul and Silas found it in their hearts not only to pray, presumably for relief, but also to sing hymns, not the blues, not hymns, which are, but, but hymns which are songs of praise. Thankfulness fulfilled them even when it was in the midst of the dungeons. Glory to God. Amen. In conclusion, everyone, the majority of our prayers are ask prayers. And that's what we're talking about all tonight. How to ask. We pray for others, but guess what? Mostly 
asking God to bless them. Glory to God. We pray for our needs by asking God to provide for us. We pray for our health and so many other things. Nothing is wrong by asking, but just have to remember that when we ask of God, we must ask him properly as we share in this lesson on tonight. Amen. So I want to, we want to talk and discuss even further about how to ask. Praise God. Come on, let's talk, share, and discuss on tonight. Overseer Shaw, you can unmute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, we all go away. We've been faded. <laughs> Amen. But I, I thank God. Just like you said, people sometimes think they don't owe God an apology. They don't, they don't need to go down and humble themselves. But we just ask. We think it's like a kid in a candy store, you know? Like, give me, give me, give me. They don't even thank you for what they already gave me. <laughs> right, right. I just thank God. And I was just looking at how... how uh, that prophet uh, prayed that it didn't rain. You know, so there's so many things that we can ask God for. And sometimes you got to be careful what you ask God for. <laughs> Some people go around asking for a husband, but they don't tell God, Lord, save him before I get him. <laughs> you got him, he saved. And he say, okay, you, ask, you know, I gave you what you asked for. You got it. <laughs> Amen. But I just thank God. God is good all the time. Amen. Amen. Show. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Praise you know? God. Amen. Go back and listen to the YouTube and listen to the message uh, online later. Because he go real fast. I didn't even have my notes out. Cause he had told me I had to let people in there have to come on. I didn't grab a pen tonight, but uh, I just thank God for a beautiful lesson. Amen. God's word is always good. Food to my soul. It's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. We praise God for it. Amen. How to properly ask, you know? And just like I said, remember those key points we talked about on tonight, everyone. Amen. We got to ask gratefully. We got to ask by faith. We got to ask in his will, right? We got to ask in the name of Jesus. Didn't we talk about it on tonight? Amen. 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 These, this is the way we ask. Amen. And God said, he, he said, no, listen, he said in his word, no good thing he'll withhold from us. He'll give us our very heart's desire. Amen. But we got to be in right position. Amen. Amen. We got to ask. And the first thing I talked about tonight, remember this, y'all. We got to ask as a qualified petitioner. We're the petitioners. <laughs> you know, but we got to be qualified. Amen. 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 To qualify us. So when we ask him, we're asking the correct way. Amen. And God will meet us at the point of our needs. I'm so I'm excited, y'all. Amen. I feel like shouting down here in my office. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Because God has been so gracious and bountiful unto us. Amen. The God of our salvation. We give him praise on tonight. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Anybody else want to have a comment, want to share if you have a question? Amen. Anything. Amen. Come on and share with us on tonight. I want to hear from everybody. This is Bible study and discussion. Come on. So, Sister Wanda, you about to say something? Come on. Yeah. You know, we've all been praying for Isaiah. Yeah. Isaiah just turned one on Sunday. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise God. Praise God. One on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Miracle baby. Can you see Isaiah? Yes, yeah, salute. Yeah. yeah, we see him. He looks like he's happy, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is bright eye. Bright eye. We thank the prayers of the righteous. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Is, is that the, the little redhead girl's daughter, son? Yep. Oh, yeah. She, he looked like her. She was like when she was little, right? Like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, we pray. Uh -huh. like her. I can, just, I can just see it. Oh, Amen. see how kids grow up. Man, I got chill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Prayer changes things. Amen. And you have to tell the people Amen. on here, Sister Wanda, what did they say about that baby? We all kept him in prayer. What did, he had a tube in his nose. You can tell a little bit of the story. Come on. Tell what God, yeah, like had, you said, he was on oxygen. Yeah. Um, he had a feeding tube. Mm -hmm. um, they said that he, they didn't know if he would be able to see. Mm. Or he would have a problem hearing. I mm. mean, they just all kinds of stuff was supposed to be wrong with him. Oh, what God? You man, what God? God. Just say, what God? What God? Yeah. Man, look at God. 
miracles. God is still working miracles. People think miracles have went away. We had a miracle when we woke up this morning, but people don't realize that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. God is good. Yeah, I just get excited when I see him. I be sending her checks sometime, you know. Uh -huh. I think how she responds, you know. But I know she know. And I thank God for her. She's she's in the army, the navy or something, right? With him. She's Adam. in the navy. Navy. Amen. Look at awesome. that. Look at God. Awesome. 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 This, this one, if, if she'd have just been an ordinary person out here, like you said, she even got help with the baby. See? You uh -huh. might have been, you might have would have been the one, you know what I'm saying? The family. But well, look at God. She okay. didn't know what she's getting into. <laughs> out of God know. made I know. a way out of no way. Oh. Amen. Amen. Got him in the right place. And God, he's well taken care of. With two air rings in his ear already, y'all. <laughs> two air rings in his ear. Hey, little baby. The two air rings is what we got an issue with. <laughs> uh, I ain't got no issue. Let that girl put it in. You know, they, they shoot them. I, ain't got, I got a needle. Mine got a needle when they put mine in. <laughs> Uh, 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 Sister uh, Juanita, I'm going to pick on you tonight. I know I have Brother Ray, uh, Deacon Ray, to comment on tonight. But we're going to have you comment. Come on to comment, Sister Ray. Uh, she... <laughs> well, I'm already saying her is wanting to do it. <laughs> yeah, but I was, I was, I, as you was reading the scriptures, I had a question. Sure. And right now, Devlin took it out my head, but the next, <laughs> your next presentation answered that question. All right. Yeah, oh. and it was because I said, oh, I said, I'm a little confused. Yeah, from last week, this No, tonight. Um, it was, um, you know, that was a liar. Um, I know I was moving fast. You no, know, but ask the, when you asked. Uh-huh. You had to, even though, what was it? Even though maybe you wasn't saved or whatever, but it was the belief in earnest asking. Ask. God will hear you. He yeah. Will hear you. Yes. Yeah. Because I was like, they said, oh, it's not going to hear you. You're not going to. And I'm saying to myself, now I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> but the next, the next uh, uh, scripture that you gave. Answer gave the question. The answer Praise God. God. Remember what I talked about in the beginning? That's the qualified petitioner. Just as the Gentiles weren't the chosen of God. And, you know, in the scriptures, remember the Jews were the. Also, we knew that. Huh? Sure, even when we ask too, what qualifies us if you ask in faith, believing. Believe Sometimes me. you're asking, but if you ain't got no faith and believing, that ain't you ain't qualified. It's just like a football player. You yep. gotta do all the stuff that you're required to do. That's part of it. You gotta ask in faith, believing. You know, right. sometimes we ask a miss. Amen. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. I'm reminded of scripture, a man, uh, I'm going there actually, uh, I think it was, uh, it said, whosoever will let him come, right? Mm -hmm. And I will no lies cast him out, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? Whosoever will. Uh, whosoever will come after me. That Jesus talks about in Mark chapter 8, verse 30, uh, 34 uh, through 38. He says, whosoever will even come after me, let him deny himself. Amen. Take up his cross and follow me. Amen. Amen. Everything that you do wants your life, this everything that's anything unlike God, he wants you to take it up. Loose it. Let it go. Turn, give it to him in his hands. And then we can follow him. Amen. In the fullness. Amen. But we got we to gotta give up ourselves. Give up our way. That qualifies us. When we, when we, when we, when we cast off that old man. Amen. When we release, amen, amen, and, 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 and just let God, as a sinner, as a sinner, <laughs> amen, but because guess what, amen, before you were saved, we're sinners. The word of God declares for what? We were all born in the world of sin and shaped of iniquity, but I thank God, amen, that, amen, that Christ Jesus came to reconcile himself back unto us. Glory to God. For while we were even yet sinners, Christ died for us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. It's awesome. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So does God hear a sinner's prayer? No. But does God hear a sinner's prayer? Amen. Who's, who's, who has who's, who's become convicted in his heart and want to change. 
amen, and want to receive Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior and accept salvation unto him, amen, yes, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, <laughs> Woo, glory to God, I'm excited, amen, amen. Amen. So we're so glad we answered that. Anybody else want to share? If you got a question, come on. Amen. We don't want to cut nobody off. Amen. Praise God. We thank God. Amen. Amen. We thank God for, amen, amen, for some new people joining us live here online too tonight. God bless you all. Amen. Shanita, Sister Shanita, Sister Robin. Amen. I kept chiming in with us. We thank God for, God bless you, Robin. Good to see you. Praise God. Amen. Amen. You have a comment or a question? Come on. I enjoyed the message that went about prayer. Um, I just want to ask, uh, add maybe um, when we ask God for different things, we have to be patient because sometimes we think that we, you know, sometimes we ask God for different things and we think that he doesn't hear us or we think that he, he's not answering our prayers. But it doesn't always mean that a lot of times God wants to get us ready to receive the prayers that we're asking for. So um, I agree and I thank God for the message on prayer that went up today. Um, I just keep keep praying and, and, and don't doubt if you ask God for something according to his will, he's going to answer in his time. Amen. God's time is not our time. Amen. So have to be patient and wait on God. That's, don't give up. That's it. That's awesome, Sister Robin. God bless you. Listen, that reminds us, if y'all taking notes, write this down. It's familiar scripture. You already know it. And she alluded to it. Psalms 27, verse 14. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall do what he shall strengthen your heart. That's what God wants to do for us. But he wants us to wait, as Sister Robin said. Amen. Isaiah 55 talks about for what? His ways are not our ways, neither his thoughts are our thoughts, for his ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than ours. It's not going to happen necessarily in the time of uh, that we think it's going to happen, but it's going to happen in God's time. And God's way is, and the last time I knew, God's way is always the best way. Yeah. So many times, and I know we could speak from experience, I, I was, I, I, I can recall even many a times where I was looking for a financial breakthrough. You know, you, you know how you expect something to come. <laughs> and it seemed like it just ain't going to be on time. But my God, for some reason, some way, God held it up. And then when it came, it was, it was, it was right on time. And the time that I felt that I should get it, says Robin, it wasn't the proper time. But when God allowed it to eventually come through, and not only did he allow it to come through, he gave me even more than what I was looking for. Good God from Zion. Glory to God. I'm telling you, this is so. Amen. We just thank God. Amen. Amen. For the God that loves us. And he hasn't left us. He has, I tell you, family and friends, he has not forsaken us. And whatever we ask in his name, in his will, by faith, and just as Sister Robin said, don't doubt. We cannot, and that's a trick of the enemy, to have you doubt. He wants you to, 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 to feel defeated. Amen. You feel like your prayers aren't being heard, being answered. Amen. But guess what? We, God wants us to, that's a part of us trusting him. We, it's a waiting process. Amen. Amen. And guess what? In due season, he said, we're going to reap if we faint not. In due season, that, that means in the time in which God has selected and preordained for things to transpire, we're going to reap if we don't faint not. God, us to faint. God bless you, Sister Raquel. Good to see you. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 We thank God for you, uh, Sister Robin. God bless you. Anybody else want to have a comment, want to share? Come on, let's talk and discuss even a little bit further before we uh, sign off here tonight. Anybody have a question? Um, I believe we covered it, probably <laughs> most questions with, with our presentation. But you know I'm saying somebody, you know, sometimes you know, people I'm, alive and something they relate to what you free. said. You know. Feel free. Feel free. It doesn't have to be even specific to what we've discussed on tonight, but any questions at all. Amen. We love, I love getting into the word of God because guess what? The, the, 
the 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 the, the, the answer to every question that we're dealing with in our life. Guess what? The answers are in God's word. Yes, it is. Amen. It's in God's word. Amen. Amen. You looking for some solution? Guess what? I got the answer. <laughs> you know the Bible says what for heaven and earth shall pass away but God's word will stand forever amen 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 and, it had, and guess what the greatest book that has ever been written has stood the test of time and, and guess what unless Jesus comes back and even crack the sky first guess what God's word is still going to stand because he was the God of which that made us the psalmist said, for he had made us, not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Amen. Mm -hmm. Are you glad that you belong to God? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel your presence all tonight. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know what, you know what Ellis, y'all? Because um, you don't know, we're going to have a lot of stuff going on in our land. There. We got a lot of people that have been even brought to us that don't believe in this Jesus that we believe in. Uh, we got to let people know. It ain't but one man died for us. One man. Laid down his life, took our place, and yeah. that's the only one who can save you. His name is Jesus. Jesus. All right? So soldiers, arm up, because, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's a, like I said, it's a lot of people don't believe in Jesus. They believe in something else, and it's not right. They got to come to Jesus. Gotta can't be saved with all that. Well, I don't care how much you think it's good and it's right. It ain't right. Amen? Amen. Amen. God Amen. has our families, families, that we will hold fast to uh, God's unchanging hand and to what we know to be right. Name but one man that took our place, and his name is Jesus. No yeah, other yeah. name given under heaven except that we can be saved. That can be saved, except Amen. So we got to continue to pray. Amen. Yeah, amen. Absolutely. Thank you, Lord. Anybody else want to share or have a question? Amen. I think Brother Ray don't came in somewhere. Yeah, it'll be all right. Oh. Oh. Can you hear me? Oh, all right. Listen, this has been awesome, y'all. Uh, I'm not going to, I know we started a little late on tonight, but we thank God for everybody sharing. Amen. In our bi interactive Bible study on tonight. Amen. I want y'all to be encouraged. Amen. And remember, listen, amen, whatever, amen, that we're standing in need of, amen, if we need from the Lord, ask, amen, amen, and make sure that you're qualified, amen, make sure you're asking in faith, make sure that we believe, amen, glory to God, amen, God will give you the desires of your heart. He says, for we must first believe that he is, for he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, amen, we got some people, more people trying to come in, amen, on tonight, Amen. And I just thank God. Amen. For uh, this Bible study on tonight. Amen. We're going to be right back. I listen, I, these, these Bible studies, just to let you know, listen, I want y'all to do me a big favor. Even those of you that are new that have joined us, do me a big favor. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, what I do, we upload this actually onto our YouTube channel. All right. Your cell phone. We also have God bless you, Sister Mary, Sister Sparky. Amen. We also have. Um, uh, an app that you could download to your phone to be able to access all these Bible studies, these teachings and discussions. All right. You could actually go to your cell phone, go to, if you have an Android phone, go to the play store. If you have an iPhone, you could go to the app store, type in Shiloh temple, type in Shiloh temple. And when you type in Shiloh temple, you're going to see a blue logo with the dove, the holy dove, which represents the spirit of God over the word of God, surrounded by the earth. That's that's our logo. That's our that's our that's our app. You could actually download that app, Shallow Temple. All right. Once you download that app, you, you inside of the app, not only do you have access to all the Bible studies, the teachings and discussions, you have access to our online Bible where we actually have a Bible that talks uh, to you and actually gives you uh, a, a musical background with video illustrations of the scriptures. Amen. Amen. Also in the app as well. And if you also want to be a blessing to the ministry, amen. Amen. You could actually give your tithes and offering as well as the app. Hey, listen, I thank God for each and every one of y'all. This has been awesome. Amen. I don't want to cut nobody off, but anybody else have anything they'd like to say or share or discuss? Amen. We're giving you space. 
Amen. If not, amen. Listen, this amen. Thank, thank God. Thank God. 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 I got in on the tail end, but what I heard was good. Praise God. God bless you, Deacon Ray. God bless you. Amen. James, give me a call when the service is over. Will do. Listen, family and friends, uh, today is, let's see, uh, we're going to be back uh, Sunday. Uh, Sunday's our communion Sunday. For those of you that desire a man, if those of you are in the Jersey area, we invite you to join us. You can actually join us live in our church service at Shallow Temple at 547 South 19th Street, 1230 Sunday afternoon. We'll be live. Amen. And we actually do that live, Facebook live also as well. And this is first Sunday. This will be communion Sunday where we'll be, amen, amen, partaking of the Lord's Supper together. Amen. And we're doing as the scriptures instructed us to do. For as often, Jesus said, for as often as we do this, we do it in remembrance of him. And we'll be uh, doing that together on Sunday. For those of you that were watching us online, join us on this Sunday too. Amen. For a, a Sunday worship and communion Sunday as well. Amen. This has been awesome. Amen. We normally do our uh, prayer conference call uh, on, on the 5th, but that's going to be on Sunday. So we're going to have prayer at in the sanctuary. All right. Listen, yeah. this is great. For those of you who've been on here, we thank God for you. Amen. Like, share, go to our YouTube channel. Like, share, subscribe. You can access it through the uh, uh, app. Amen. And listen. Amen. Tell a friend. Amen. And until next time, amen. We love y'all. Amen. We're going to close out with a word of prayer. I'm going to ask on tonight if our sister Wanda Staples, if you'll take us in prayer. God bless you. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever. Amen. 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 Listen, until next time, family and friends. Listen, if y'all have questions also too, I want to remind everybody, if you want if you want to discuss a particular topic also too, we do that as well. Any, anything in regards to the word of God, any subject matter, guess what? It does not matter. Amen. We will discuss it. Amen. You could send us a note through the app as well. All right? Like, share, Subscribe to YouTube channel. Until next time, y'all stay in the blessing. Amen. Peace and God bless you. Love y'all. Good, Good night. Good night. Good night.